Okay, Spencer, so you have an egg drop uh, project you got to do for school. So what's the scoop on this thing? Um, so for the project, we make a some kind of container or something that can withstand a 20-foot drop and protect the egg inside. So how are you going to do it? Well, right now we have a little Valentine's teddy bear with us that's going to help us out. We cut it open into it and... Stuffed an egg inside uh, two Ziploc baggies just in case you know it does go out, and uh, we got an extra one to protect it. And also, um, just gets an extra little padding in the back. So what are you gonna do? You did surgery on that thing? Yeah, we cut it open, and now we're gonna tie it up. Okay, go ahead. Kind of just make it tighter, so it's a little more protected. Okay, loosen, get that in there. So you decided that the carrier of the egg is best protected by a lovable teddy bear. Yeah, it's definitely going to help this thing out. I mean, it's really firm right here. It really should make a difference. Okay. Well, let's uh, see what happens here. Hold on just a second, so stop for a second. Hold on. Okay, right. so you have the teddy bear up there. You're going to do it up a little bit higher? Or where, what are you going to do? I'm going to do it right from here. Here's our little cute little guy. Come on. Like that. And uh, this is about a 15 foot drop or so. Maybe more. And we'll see how this goes. One, two, three. The victim did a bounce, and there it is. Now for the opening surgery to see what happens. I have high hopes for this one. Okay, bring him over here to the surgical table. Here we have it. It's on his back. Carefully opening up the stitches of the teddy bear. We will see if the teddy bear is indeed a perfect carrier for an egg. And look at that. Looks good. Looks good. We'll get close. Maybe closer later. So what do you think of that, Spencer? Is that is that idea a crazy winner idea or what? I think we're good. I think this little teddy bear will definitely make a good grade on this project. Awesome.